Alright, so I woke up this morning and I was like, I need to get the fuck out of my house. And I decided to do a little uh, Googling and this is what I found. Something called the Delaware River Viaduct, also known as the Alice in Wonderland Graffiti Bridge, which I am super stoked to check out today. It's going to be about a two hour drive today. That right there is the destination. And I gotta go pick up my buddies so we can go do things. Everything goes in the handy dandy backpack here. Got the selfie stick, Snapchat glasses, got a backup charger. All right, so totally prepped and ready to head out the door. Look at that, look at that, look at got my boots on. I am so ready. Peace out. So we made it. Just talked to that kind old gentleman who told us to go this way. That would be the hole. The rabbit hole. Uh. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Is that another one? I feel like we're like Goldilocks and Three Bears right now. <laughs> Which hole is better to go down? We've made our decision. Second hole it is. Somebody over here is afraid of heights. <laughs> you can do it, man. Oh, your back's stuck, yeah. All right. Brave man, you can do it. It's -a me, Mario. All right, here I go. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, what? All right, this is awesome. We made it. This is exactly what was in those videos. And we are here. So this is pretty freaking awesome. This is really cool. Got the camera out. This is so cool. <laughs> you can tag it up. Yes. Yeah, yeah. There's a spot right here. Damn, I'm really mad this thing doesn't work though. And the next one. So this is called Alice in Wonderland Bridge because it just keeps getting smaller and smaller. Oh, you went this far already? You all right, Alex? How you feeling? Feeling okay? All right. All right. And this is the other half of the tunnel. 
bridge thing. Fuck Trump. Next time, bring gloves. <laughs> Definitely. And a pen. It's the weakest throw ever. So I didn't get to do a quick recap of running out of there. The Delaware River Viaduct, um, also known as Alice in Wonderland Bridge, and you saw it was like Alice in Wonderland because not only did we have to crawl into a manhole, it just got smaller and smaller as we as we made our way through there. Uh, just a quick chat about it. Um, definitely something to see. If you live in Philadelphia, it shouldn't take you more than two hours to get there. Definitely worth it. Very scenic. The mountains are beautiful. It's right over the water. It was really cool. Difficulty level, maybe about a one out of five getting there. Uh, I've been to other places. Centralia, um, another place with a lot of graffiti and graffiti pier in Philadelphia. So I didn't do any videos about that, but I did write blog posts about them. Um, you can check those out in the links. Uh, as far as scared level, um, I wasn't too scared. Um, if you're afraid of heights like Alex was, it might be a little difficult for you, but he did it perfectly fine. I guess the scariest part was going down the manhole and, um, and crawling down the ladder into complete darkness. We didn't have flashlights or anything, so... Uh, that's something to bring. Another thing in the video, I don't know if you, you saw my little tidbit, but uh, gloves are uh, another good thing. There is some glass in there, so, you know, crawling around on your hands and stuff. So, um, it was just, it was really, really cool. It's definitely something to check out. Uh, I definitely plan on doing a lot more of these videos, so if you guys have any other spots that you know of uh, with really cool street art, let me know. Um, totally be interested in checking that out. Just do a little research before I go and um, if you guys are interested in actually going to uh, the Alice in Wonderland Bridge, I will go ahead and write up a blog post and you can find the exact address and how to get there and everything um, in that. You can also check out some of the pictures I took um, and you can read about the other places I've been.